Hydrophobia. Yes, dirty energy. I don't want dirty energy either, though. But right. I'm not. I don't fear it. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to have a couple people here for Thanksgiving. Uh huh. Just four people. That's it. Uh huh. So, and even that, the the way that everything is ramping up is crazy. Oh right, yeah, this thing. Um, yeah. Um, now the things, uh, the numbers climb up, and then I just realized that when they introduce the vaccine, the numbers will gracefully go down, and it's all artificial. They will just kind of make the turn the generators and going down the numbers. What, why is the numbers gonna go down? Introduce the vaccine. Oh, well, the numbers will go down when the vaccine is starting to get used. What? When they start using the vaccine, maybe. Well, I'm saying the, the numbers are completely fake. So now the fake uh, rising of the numbers and when they introduce the vaccine, oh. they will fake uh, lowering of the numbers. Everybody, everybody's listening to fake news. Why, why is everybody listening to all this crap? Why right. can't, you know, it's trying to disingenuize the truth. Everybody's listening to falsehoods. If you listen yeah. to the truth, it is the truth. People are telling you everywhere in the world, it's going up and it's going up. So it's not, it's not fake, it's true. But it's it's not killing as many people as it as they thought it would. Uh, but it is there. It is a disease, and the numbers are going up. It's just not killing everybody. Hospitalization is going up all over the nation. Some hospitals are at maximum capacity, uh, and I there are people on TV, TV and radio saying, "I work in the ICU. I work in the hospitals." Then our, we have to fly people out, blah, blah, blah. It's getting bad in some places. I think they're seeding the, the, the virus. They're what? Seeding, seeding, seeding. Why would they do that? Oh, to take control over the planet? They already have control. Why would they already have the control over the planet? Why would they make the numbers go up even higher? To take more control, they want to uh, to chip to uh, introduce vaccines and chips and then mind control, so the people are under control. But oh, okay, people are not under control. They still uh, don't cooperate fully. No, uh, they don't rulers. cooperate with anything anymore, and that's what's tearing the world apart. These conspiracy theories are tearing everything apart. Nobody believes anything anymore. It's just total chaos out there, what people believe. And if you, if you follow the presidential election, there's more chaos and lies, and uh, the president is tweeting out all this misinformation where you're looking around the state, everybody's saying, oh, there has been no impropriety. Why is he doing this? I'm not following that, so I'm not sure. Okay, because many people- But I did my research on, uh, um, I did my research on conspiracies. Okay, the thing and is- I believe uh, the seeding is true and uh, Manipulation from above is true. There is, uh, there is a, uh, you know, evil aliens controlling the the planet. I believe that too, but they're not going, and they want to rip apart the fabric of society, and they're doing a good job. I think they they're doing an okay job because I think they. Um, uh, they didn't kill as many people as they could. No, they're, but we're allowing them to. Uh, they, they could, you know, I think they have lots of other vir viruses to, to spread. They just started with this one. Yeah, I know. So the, I think they, they, um, 
they uh, just do, do just enough to keep the control. And their main purpose is like multi, uh, multi uh, a plan for many years to take a computerized control over the whole whole planet. So the artificial really? intelligence will uh, manipulate people, their jobs, their um, minds and stuff like that. And that is already, them. that's already underway. That's already happening. Yeah, I cannot blame them because, uh, uh, but know, it's, people, it, go ahead. Uh, because people are not very manageable. If you let them um, do, if, if the aliens do let people do their thing, they will start fighting and start the war. So, correct. The, the, and look at what it's doing to the light workers. It's destroying light workers. It, they're picking up all these conspiracy theories and they're spreading hatred, they're spreading lies, they're spreading contamination and controversy, and they're not being a good example to the earth and uniting, but they're, oh, they're being the ones that are saying horrible things about humanity and horrible things about each other. They are not unconditionally loving. They're becoming becoming dark workers and not light workers. I had to get off of Facebook because they were, I couldn't take it anymore. I didn't notice I wasn't paying attention. There are still yeah. nice light workers. Maybe not everybody, but uh, I still follow a few light workers and I love what they do. Good. There's a lot of light workers out there that are doing a great job. But there's a lot of light workers that say they're light workers, but they're spreading evil and they're saying nasty things and they're being hateful. I and those are not light workers. But they say they are. So I I they will rationalize that away, I'm sure, but it's I see it and they are. They're so mean and nasty and hateful, and I just can't deal with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I sort of disconnected. I After I realized what's happening, I disconnected. I kind of don't keep track of things. I, I just uh, browse Facebook until I find something uh, unpleasant, and I just kind of close it. Yeah. But I keep posting. I keep posting. Well, that's good. I don't, I don't even go on Facebook anymore. I post the, but don't read. Facebook, I, I, I turned it off. I turned it off. So anyway, yeah, so I'm looking forward to a nice Thanksgiving. I'm looking forward to um, just uh more calm peace love tranquility and um moving forward with that <laughs> so but um because i want to be a good example to people i don't want to hurt anybody but i think we need unity now to destroy the cabal's efforts uh, we need to have more unity and not division. And not I'm not even I'm not even fighting against Cabal anymore. I think uh, I think what they do is not that bad. I sort of kind of uh, only um, I'm only trying to present it in the way it is. As long as it is open, as long as you see what's happening, then so like uh it's already brings a solution but basically uh their activity wakes up people so there is a positive side of that people are awakened and also uh people will be united through internet even through mind control they will be united and that brings unity the thing is uh, once they're awakened they have to choose the side no you can be awakened and not to choose sides well, eventually they will have to. No. Nope. Yes, they, they will. Nope. Absolutely. Nope. <laughs> By not choosing, you choose. Oh, sure. 
Yeah, there is a third side. You just don't choose. If by not choosing, you're choosing. Sure, you choose. Uh, you choose not to, to take sides. And that will you can put shine you, your light and 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 that. Well, if you're shining your light, then you're on the positive side. Oh, sure, but you're not uh, uh, playing with this party. So uh, this game, uh, cabal versus light workers. There, well, no, you're not playing that, but you're you're shining your light and that is what you're supposed to do you're not fighting the cabal you're just being who you're supposed to be shining your light using unconditional love we can't fight the cabal in any other way but but by being a light worker and being uh, uh giving a good example to the world that's the only way right and doing your mission the way you're supposed to right well i don't worry but uh you know, I think uh, what they do makes some sense because, I mean, they're in charge of economy. If they don't do something, the economy will crash. And actually, COVID uh, prevented the crash. crash. Of the economy. It's going to crash. Uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, what they do, they take control over everything. And uh, once you have control, you can control the crash and have it like multi stage. You can have uh, people under control, and if people go on the street, you can arrest them. So you have a lot of control. It's like that is how um, Germany and uh, Russia went over the big crisis. They still had hunger, and lots of people died in Russia, but the government was stable, and it was in charge. It was in control. There was a big uh, terror, but uh, they weren't control. They didn't lose the control over the country. And in Germany, it was about the same. It was uh, Hitler who drove the country out of the depression. And in America, it was about the same. Uh, I don't know, Roosevelt, I don't remember who, who did it, but they, he, uh, he uh, somehow took a lot of uh, freedoms in uh, finances and increased the uh, government debt, but he, took the draw, he drove the country out of depression by taking charge. Okay. So uh, for them, it is just uh, a necessary step to keep the control over the planet while, uh, while driving it, it through the crisis. I think it's OK. If they don't do it, that would be much worse. Hmm. I guess that's one way to look at it. But uh, don't you care about the way they do it? I care. It's a pretty nasty way. But uh, do we have a choice? Like, Suppose a, a nice uh, 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 galactic uh, government comes and starts helping the planet. I think they would do much worse job it because they don't, they don't have any way of uh, managing people. People will start wars. And if Cabal manages people, there is no war right now because everybody is arrested at home. Hmm. Interesting. So you're on uh -huh. the side of the Cabal. No, I'm not taking sides. I'm just uh, observing it uh, remotely. Like I, I, I don't, I detach in, the, in a detached way. I don't attach myself to either side. I'm well, saying that I can explain their, their strategy and the strategy doesn't make, it's not too evil, it might, could be much worse. They didn't take the virus which is killing people. They, they just took the virus which allowed them to grab the power and introduced um, the, um, the, uh, the, um, the, the control, uh, arrest everybody at home, home arrest, how do you say, stay, stay home uh, situation. And, and the, now they uh, introduce the vaccines and then they will introduce the chips and then they will c control the mines and then we'll be able to manage the economy through mind control. I think it's uh, not the worst uh, scenario. There is still a lot of uh, freedom of choice. Free will is still in place. So well, they're not violating too many this? rules. Again? Where is where is God in all that? Um, so there is a story of Arjuna. It's called Bhagavad Gita, where yes, um, I know the Bhagavad Gita, where the main moral is that uh, don't worry about people killed. It's all the play of the forces, and it's all the play of um, a dance of Shiva. And if it happens, has to happen, it has to happen. 
So you just kind of play on your side and uh, don't worry about anything else. So listen where is God in that? Listen to what, uh, yeah, yeah, play, yeah. Do your um, role as you see your, uh, listen to the guidance of God and do your, play your role. If God go, says, go kill, go kill. That's the main moral of the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, even if you have to kill the, uh, the, uh, your, your relatives, that's what was, uh, Arjuna has to like fight his own tribe because Krishna told him so. But well, um, then I will have to expect some of my relatives to come kill me because they're <laughs> on the opposite side that I'm on. Right, right, right. But what I'm saying is it's all an illusion anyway. And so, so uh, the moral there is that for the harmony of the creation, sometimes it's, it's necessary to wipe things out and for Shiva to terminate certain sick processes. And I think yes, that's that what would is be, happening. That would be what would be called a restart on right. society. Wipe everybody out and start again. Not necessarily everybody, just uh, with the uh, old uh, outdated things. Like the, the, the um, vibration changed. There is a lot of outdated uh, traditions and tendencies and uh, habits. For example, American government is very, very outdated. The way American uh, uh, law works, it's just uh, laughable. It's all outdated. Unfortunately, they replace it for Ch with Chinese system, which is also very weird. But uh, I think the plan of the cabal is to introduce Chinese system everywhere. Essentially, it's a strong government. Nobody believes in the ideals, but they are afraid of the government and they still have free enterprise under the government. But the government you... control is free enterprise in many ways. But the Chinese people are very unhappy. Uh, yeah, but uh, Chinese economy now is stronger than American. Yes, the, the economy is strong, but the people are very unhappy. Sure. Uh, I'm, I'm just describing what is happening. I think the that's the is, plan of the cabal. I would rather be happy with an archaic government than go under that and have such strict rules that I would be very unhappy to live my life. I, I know I see the faces. If you look at Chinese people, you don't see very many of them smiling at all. They're all, they're all under oppression. I don't want to be of under course. oppression. Oh, no, no, I'm not taking sides. I respect your choice, but I'm not taking sides. I'm, I'm describing what is happening. And I think uh, the best choice is not taking sides, but clearly see what's happening. Well, I'm, um, I'm, I do see what's happening. Right. Um, so I think that that uh, cabal's unification of the planet is is happening, and it's happening uh, successfully. They have success, and I don't see much alternative to that. I wish there was a ton of alternative, but I think it is a phase we have to go through through that phase. And at the other side, uh, I think what would be what will be happening? It will be. Um, let me describe it. It would be waves of oppression. Uh, accompanied by waves of uh, uh, disclosure, or how do you call it, uh, awakening. So oppression comes with awakening. When you have lots of oppression, you have lots of awakening because people will clearly see what is uh, behind of those manipulations. And once you have awakening, then uh, the system will uh, basically will have to go away. But for awakening, it's necessary for the system to reveal itself. You cannot really um, awaken when you trust in uh, American uh, democracy because it's it's uh, a manipulated system, a, a highly manipulated system. But and once other you, system, see, you you don't think that Russia has a highly manipulated system, that China has a highly manipulated system. They all have highly manipulated systems. Right. What's the difference? Um, so my hope is, no, no, all, all, all of those awaken people. What I'm saying, when the system becomes too oppressive, people awaken. 
I, and, yes, and well, it's tip- becoming, it's awakening people already. And to lose this, the system that we have, the United States is the uh, more, one of the more happy nations in the world, I would think. And to have it come under oppression would be a shame, don't you think? I don't take sides. I'm just describing what it is. The thing is, it doesn't make sense of exchanging one oppression for another, one uh, justice system for another. They're all outdated. Oh, I'm not taking sides. I don't put judgment. Uh, What I describe is the processes and my judgment is that I'm not taking part in it, but I'm describing it as as good as I can. And who's going to take Oh, uh, yeah, yes, of course, uh, lots of good things will, will die, of course. But what I'm saying is, uh, I think, this, so first thing, it, 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 uh, the uh, rep- oppression co- uh, causes awakening. And the second thing, um, the totalitarian system, they bring up idealistic uh, type of people. So like in Soviet Union, there was a lot of oppression, but there was, they also did a good job on creating idealists. And actually many other countries too, as, as well as America. In America, there is a lot of idealists who believe in ideals. And the combination of awakening and idealism actually will bring uh, the new structure, the new type of global government. And I think it will be very feminine. We already see that uh, what changed in the, in the, with the pandemic and, and uh, mm-hmm. Control, what changed was that uh, now the government pretends to be and acts out of compassion. They pretend to do everything for the sake of safety of the people. And that's a very feminine um, emotion. But, but I don't see that. I don't see that at all. Um, I, don't, I, I don't see it. I see it. I see an over. I see the government being overtaken. That's very masculine. Right, right, right. But still, I think the future government will be very caring and uh, very feminine. Interesting. So I think there will be a waves of awakening and uh, idealism, and the new generation will bring the new government, which is caring. Well, with but the oppression, will... you say with the oppression, there'll be people awakening, and that will bring idealism. And, oh, no, no, but in parallel. I, I in par- oppression, will, oppression will cause both awakening and idealism through different processes in parallel. I, I, don't, see, I don't see that that has happened in Russia or in uh, China that much. It has happened, but not in extreme ways. Oh, in, Russia, in Russia, there was uh, idealism. Uh, they, they taught us in school a lot of idealism. There were ideas and there were positive examples and the whole system was kind of supposed to bring a, create a, a human of, of the future very, very altruistic. Uh, and uh, the, that, that stopped in 90s. So the new generations don't have that. But um, until, until the crash of the Soviet Union, that was, they produced a lot of altruists. Interesting, because the way I see it is that oppression, uh, the way you talk about it, is necessary for awakening. Uh, isn't there other ways for awakening? Isn't there like catastrophe, uh, like cat- natural catastrophes awaken people? Um, of course. Uh, all kinds of things awaken people, but I don't think oppression, uh, I think sometimes oppression destroys people and makes people less likely to awaken. Um, yeah, in, in Nazi Germany, there was a big mind control system where people sort of were um, pushed into obedience. Yes, and uh, how do you call it? Um, wickedness, wickedness. Yeah, people were, fascism well, is uh, official wickedness. And well, Trump brings up a lot here. of that. We're heading toward fascism here. Yeah, for sure. That's, it's obvious. It's, it's, it's all over the place. 
for sure. Okay. And that's, that's going to be very oppressive. And a lot of light workers are following in the steps of that. Mm -hmm. But they don't see themselves doing that. They think that they're doing something good. But if they would check their the way they're doing it, it's not good. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of change going to be coming. But they're not going to like it the way they think they are. The thing is, oh. oppression is oppression. I don't think it causes people to awaken. It causes people to go into depression. There are others that will fight it. They might be the ones that are awakened. Uh, the fighters for freedom, the fighters for against oppression, the fighters against all these kinds of evils in the world. They are, uh, those are the ones that I see that are awakened. I, I, I want to see people awaken so that they are happy. I want them to be uh, aware and happy with who they are, how they are be who they are becoming, what is happening with them in the world around them. But oppression doesn't give that much fertilizer for that growth. Um, and I don't see it as a part as a positive thing i just there's nothing about oppression that that strikes me as <laughs> eye-opening um remember watergate yes i do so uh in what happened in watergate um the cabal uh, uh give, gave away um, some of the secrets and uh, allowed nixon to fall but most of the uh, system ca w w uh, was intact. They just kind of dropped some of the some of the um, part of that they kind of allowed to ca come out, and uh, it was still a huge awakening for the people because people were like very patriotic, but then they realized the top is rotten. Yes. Uh, uh, and uh, what I think is uh, might happen here when people realize that the whole COVID. Uh, uh, scenario was fabricated, and um, now already there is a lot of people who researched enough and realized that it was planned well in advance. Like for uh, now, we see some proof that it was planned even in in sixties. So it's it's a long, a long planned project. It's a yes. pandemic. I um, pandemic. That's such a nasty word. But anyway. Um, it is what many believe, I know. And it is part of what they planned, I'm sure. But it is also a sort of saying I give up in a way. Uh, they're not fighting the pandemic. They're not doing anything to uh, research how to get rid of the pandemic. They're just living it and saying, Oh, we are the victims of the pandemic. Um, it's to me um, a sad cry, a war cry. It's really sad. So I don't say that word because even though it may be true, I don't want to be associated with it. I'm not a fighter type. I'm an and explorer type. So I, yeah, I'm not going to I fight know. anyone. I'm not a fighter type either, but I don't want to, I don't want to give in to this, this negative agenda. I don't want to give in to it. And so maybe I am a fighter. I don't know, but I, I am someone that is appalled by all the people that are apathetic about everything. They're apathetic about literally everything. Who did you vote for? I didn't vote. Why? I don't care. Um, who, what are you doing this? I don't know. I don't care. I, so many Americans just don't care about anything. They don't care about, uh, they've been spoiled. They're, they just don't care anymore. And whatever happens, happens. Just let it happen. Um, I just hate that mindset. It just speaks of total losers. It's a loser mindset it's a loser mindset
I think it's pretty fair not to be involved in such uh, farce and uh, joke like uh, this election. There is nothing to elect. Is that saying you don't care? Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, uh, I, I care about things that matter and th this thing doesn't matter. Really, it doesn't really matter who will be elected. It's either way, it's, uh, the, the role of the president is a joke at the moment. The president don't control anything. They just entertain people while the cabal is in charge. So it doesn't really matter who will be elected. It's all for show. There is no, no practical implication of that. Wow. That's I so mean, wrong. one way or another, the, the, the pandemic will that's, continue. So That is so wrong. So wrong. So, so wrong. Um, this is the, this president, whoever it is going to be, will be the number one power in the world. Uh, that makes a difference. This, that makes a difference. That makes a difference. This number one power is like several layers of power down below of the top of the cabal. The cabal is in charge and the president is uh, just a joke which entertains people and creates fake news. But the thing is, everybody believes the fake news and not the real news. Yeah, but this news basically don't affect much. The thing I is, mean, the fake news is destroying things. Of course. And that's what everybody's believing is the fake news. And they're calling it the truth. And they're calling the truth the fake news. And so where is that going to end? When are, when are the people going to wake up and see the truth about that? Right. Uh, I think the system has to fall before people uh, start, before the truth comes out. That's so sad that people are that ignorant and yeah, refuse, I, 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 uh, refuse to actually look into the facts. Right. I mean, it's important to do your own research. And there is a lot of groups which actually did their own research. There are nice websites where everything is laid out. And I agree. I, I check the facts and I agree with every fact they, that they post. So the information is out there. It's just people don't research it. No, but, I know. But basically, they, they believe what they want to believe. Uh, basically, there are three scenarios. Uh, one big crash. Uh, everything stays the same and the intermediate where things are um, uh, evolve in steps or say a reform stepwise reformation. Okay. I hope that I hope that things will work through the stepwise reformation. Basically, there will be uh, 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 steps of uh, evil evil forces um, well increasing the control and in parallel, there will be awakening of people and and disclosure of the secret. So eventually we'll know the truth and uh, everybody will awaken. At well, least that would happen in Soviet Union where there were like four, four to six years of awakening. It takes time for people to read and to think and it was stepwise where the mass media was actually educating people about the truth and uh, it was uh, not the complete truth, but it was a stepwise awakening when the people really realized what was happening. And it was the greatest time. It didn't lead to perfect government, but it, it led to the fall of the previous government and led to people understanding how things are. Um, hopefully, uh, this time around the world, it would be awakening, which will uh, lead to a better government than, than, we, than what we have in Russia. But I think awakening it, as a cultural process is great. Okay. Well, what you have now is a president who lost the election, who is trying to overthrow the government with lies and trying to persuade people to help him to do so. There is no proof that he lost, I mean, one. There's no proof that there was any tampering. All, all the machinery is secure. All the counts have been, I, there was a recount already. Uh, that stayed the, pretty much the same. Um, we have a president that will not refuse to lose. 
He must win. He must, must win. And he's telling everybody that he has won. And he tells everybody that it's crooked, fixed. And this is undermining democracy, which will fall. And everyone here will pay the price. And there are many people that are behind him doing this or keeping quiet and not saying anything. But the truth is he lost, fair and square. The reason why all the ballots weren't counted on election day is because there were so many write-in ballots. This was the a year of COVID-19. People didn't wanna to go to the polls. So they wrote in ballots and there was a lot of them. And they were mostly democratic because Biden told him to write them, balance it instead of taking a chance and getting sick. But Trump said, go to the polls and vote for me on election day. And that's what happened. But now all the votes are still not counted. And um, the thing is, Biden won by 6 million votes, the popular vote. And Trump is not accepting it and wants to overthrow that count. What do you say about a president that will not accept defeat? Um, I'm suspicious about your belief that it's all one-sided. I think uh, there is uh, manipulation on both sides. I uh, studied- um, Then prove it. No, I don't, I don't go there, no. Uh, the thing is, they are proving that there is no manipulation on one side, but there is on the other. I, uh, I studied, um, you see, in, in the current time, it's hard to prove because, uh, because things are very charged and there is very little information that uh, came out. But for the elections of uh, Lyndon Johnson other, and... Um, yeah, Lyndon Johnson, there is a lot of information that came out because of the time. And uh, I read, it's, it's a great research um, series of book of uh, Times of Lyndon Johnson. And there they outline how things are manipulated. And once you see how things are manipulated, you see that nothing changed since then. So I think it's all uh, huge something manipulation. Something has changed since then. Let me tell you what that is. Since the 2016 elections, where Russia was supposed to be involved in the elections, they have firmed up all the machinery, double-checked, made this much more secure than any other election that has ever been done because of all those kinds of manipulations from 2016. So that has changed things. Um, I, I, I didn't research that part. No, of course but, not. But the fact that uh, Biden was, uh, is, is, a, is a candidate at least, uh, is a very disturbing to me. I, I don't know. I think uh, I'm um, not that fan of democracy anymore because people are making their own choices. They're making choices which are against their interests, against their interests. How did it happen that such a disabled person with no personality as Biden became a candidate? I think that's by itself is very disturbing. He's been in government for 47 years. People have been voting for him for a long, long, long time. He's not disabled. People, they're the advertisements that they put out they have edited them together so they make him look disabled. But if you actually listen to him speak, he's not. I don't know, I, I didn't listen, but uh, one thing came my way is that first thing that he suggested is to make uh, carry, uh, worry, uh, wearing the mask ob obligatory, which to me sounds like he's uh, just playing along with the cabal on the pandemic. I think it's, it's either way. I think it's either way is, is a disaster. But that where well, you have a president in office now that is not saying anything about the, the disease, nothing. Uh, Hardly I at think, all. Uh, I think it really doesn't matter. I think the presidents don't make any difference. 
I think it's all, look, uh, Obama came, so, so many presidents came, they, they say one thing, they want one thing, but when you see the term expired, they, they achieved nothing because the whole system is, is governed uh, uh, in a, uh, uh, governed without taking them into account. There is a Senate which is uh, stopping any any improvements, and That's there is true. a whole system which resists any changes. So I don't think That's president true. makes the, you're right. anything other the, than news. The system does make, resist change. You're right. They make the news, but uh, so people get excited, but there is nothing actually happening. So I don't think it would matter if uh, I mean Trump was uh, supposedly I mean. He is supported by by military who won't change, but again he wasn't succeeded success in succeeding in changing anything. The system resisted even Trump. This is a different Trump. This one has been compromised somehow, but he because he is not the same person that started here. And but the thing is, he's compromising everybody with him. Of course, yeah, he's a yeah he's a shame too. I mean, it's a shame how he won. Yeah, I mean, it's very shameful. I, I, it I know. I'm, I feel sh ashamed of just you know thinking that such a country selected such a president. That that I mean that brought me to question the democracy. I mean, if there is so if the if the population is so um, wicked, then it, it's not it's not it doesn't deserve to be electing any anybody. And there the. Uh... Prediction is no one will be president. Hmm. We will have a dictator. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't see a solution. That, 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 uh, it, it, it didn't arise yet. But I think what will happen to humanity, instead of having rulers of individual countries, will have a, like a council at the top, and the rulers of individual countries wouldn't matter anymore. Well, that is very possible. I mean, the way things are going, that is very possible. I, and that's a new world order. That's what they call the new world order. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And that is the, what the cabal is looking for. Mm -hmm. But in order for the cabal to be successful in their new world order, they must deplete the population by two thirds. Because in order to have the new world order, they have to redo the money system so that everyone has the same currency. And in order to do that, it'll be less expensive if they have less people. So they need to take down the population by two thirds or three quarters so that when they redo the money system, it is affordable for them and affordable for the world so that all the, everyone can get the same money. And also they can grow their propaganda out from that many people that they can let everybody in on all what they want for them and bring all their good news to that uh, smaller group of people so that they can have control completely of them. And then as the populations get bigger, they still have control. It's easier to control from a smaller amount and then grow it. I, yeah, that sounds nasty. It it's, is. Not, it's not necessarily true, actually. It's, uh, the logic behind it is very questionable, but uh, yeah, that's a popular opinion, I agree. And it's very sick opinion, yes. I don't see why, why uh, I don't, it looks like at the moment they don't even try to unite uh, the world and they rule the world just country by country. Like pandemic was introduced in every country in the world except I think two. And they, they just uh, control every country separately and it looks like it works for them. So I'm not sure that plan about uh, uniting the world and about um, uh, decimating, it's this called decimation when they kind of reduce the population. When decimating the world is, uh, is uh, maybe they didn't start it, but it doesn't look like it's, uh, it's there. So maybe the plan, current plan is to control the world country by country and uh, uh, just have some sort of uh, global uh, undercover government that controls everything, which, which, is, a, which is the current situation. 
much more difficult to do that than what they were originally suggesting. Yeah, it's it's a guesswork, but um, uh, but um, I did a little bit of research on on their plan to make everybody to make the center of the world move to China, and it looks like it could be true. So there is a lot of Chinese influence everywhere, and uh, basically the idea is that um, uh, there is a Chinese move. There, there is a tradition in Chinese culture. They move. Uh, secretly until the main uh, strike and they do one strike and they take over the, the power. So um, that might be happening. So that's predicted and uh, they do a lot of steps secretly and peacefully nicely just to prepare for the strike and then they just grab the power and keep it. I see. Uh, right now, no. clearly, United States is the dominant war power, and uh, China could overtake them eventually. And that would be an interesting development. You know that he is uh, re the that uh, Trump has replaced the Secretary of Defense, and many of the people around him, the Secretary this. Uh, he's replaced many of the uh, people in charge of defense in the last month. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Yeah, I like sort of America was okay in, uh, as a, I mean, America might have been a, a better police, police force than China would be in, in the world. You never know, but uh, yeah, English speaking cultures, they sort of are more uh, uh, humane towards oppressed people, somewhat. I heard about what they did to Chile. And, Who? Uh, Americans to Chile. I mean, American culture to Chile. What the did country they do? of Chile in uh, South America. Yeah, and uh, it's, uh, it's uh, basically it's, there is a standard way of Americanization of the countries. Now, how China would do it, I don't know. <coughs> I don't know what they probably American would introduce to Chile, but I, I wasn't aware they did. I mean, I know that uh, America has influence on people all over the world, but I can't keep up on everything they do in every country, unfortunately. But um, I'm sure that they have their finger all over the place, their fingers everywhere in the world. So that doesn't surprise me. There is Snowden, um, the disclosures of Snowden basically, which says how um, everybody's information is collected and eventually it could be used for manipulation. They already manipulate key, key, key people, but it's sort of manual, large, it was largely manual at the time of Snowden. Right. Seven, seven years ago, it was more, more manual, but now they probably already have some automatic ways of manipulating people. So it can be controlled through computer systems. They certainly can manipulate finances of the people and choices of their jobs. And uh, you no, know, they can control who is hired and who is fired. Yes, I know that. So um, now if China takes over, they have lots more people so they can actually send emissaries everywhere and populate the whole world with their with their emissaries. Uh, I, I know little about China. It, it's very hot there. I, I couldn't move there. But uh, uh, but um, I uh, saw I was visiting uh, Macau, which is like kind of a westernized, a westernized special zone for Westerners. And I saw the Chinese people sort of being afraid and also kind of uh, showing their um, loyalty to the party. So there was a big meeting where the leaders of the local science was speaking on the, on the stage and everybody was um, swearing their allegiance to, to, to the party, which was very Soviet style, even more, more than in Soviet Union, it was like, complete kind of, they had to do it very emotionally when all the like crying on the stage, swearing. That allegiance. sounds like so, North Korea. Yeah, yeah. So, so that that's might what they become, do in North Korea. 
they have to be emotional when they swear their allegiance. Yeah, so that might become a standard all over the world if China takes over. <laughs> right. Oh, well. I, I certainly hope that I'm not here any longer when that happens. <laughs> right. So I see my role just as a, as a researcher. I research and let people know and everybody else makes their own mind. I explore things. Yes. I'm, I am, <laughs> I, want to, I want the best for people. I know that after they listen to this, if, they, if you publish this, I'll probably lose a lot of followers, but that doesn't matter because <laughs> Unconditional love is where I'm at, and I love them all the same as I always did. But the thing is, um, unconditional love is hard to find in this world. What time do we get? We have 10 more minutes. Oh my God, we only have 10 minutes? Uh huh. We talked this whole time? Oh, we had to. We had to. I right. didn't realize you are that passionate about uh, the elections. Well, I'm so passionate about, about right and wrong. I don't care. I, I'm not really a big fan of Joe Biden. I'm, and I'm a less of a fan of Trump. But I, it's, it's not that, that either one of them are going to be the greatest president ever neither one of them will but it is that democracy is on the line here and that's what i am concerned about the democracy of the united states has done well by me i know it you don't care about it because you have not even lived here your whole life but i have and it's done well by me and i it's given me a good life and so I do not want to see it tossed out with yesterday's garbage. It is precious to me. And I see that we could lose it very, very shortly. And that, what I, that is what I am very passionate about. Um, I'm nostalgic about my um, Russian, the times in Russia when uh, there was hope there. It was like early 90s, late, late 80s, early 90s, hope that uh, the regime will fall and will uh, get truth out and people will become uh, westernized and do things in a nice Western way. And it didn't happen, it didn't happen as we expected. So I, I'm still nostalgic about it. And I'm and a couple of my friends actually went to America, spent time here and returned to Russia in spite of Putin and in spite of that, oh, there's a lot of negativity there. They kind of came back and they feel home there. So I'm uh, discussing with them the, you know, even the dream about coming home. And they say, one of them said that he's missing Americans. And that is very, very true. Like. Uh, uh, in Russia, you don't have as many friendly people on the street, and uh, there is a lot of dignity, and uh, dignity is the main word, dignity and uh, niceness about Americans. So democracy somehow, that fake democracy, like uh, illusion of democracy actually brought up a lot of idealists and uh, very nice people who believe in some ideals, which is great. It's so not I, an illusion, I, though. Not to what? Not to me. It's not an illusion to me. I've lived here all my life. I'm 65. It wasn't an illusion. I'm able to be who I want to be. I am the person that I want to be. I have been able to be, uh, uh, do whatever I want to do. But uh, in terms of presidents, is there any president you're not ashamed of? What? Is there any president you're not ashamed of? Presidents? President, president. President, yes, Trump. You know, is there any president you're not ashamed of? You're not ashamed of? 
Oh, I'm not ashamed of any of them except Trump. How about Clinton? President Clinton, he was a man just like you. Every time what is he there to be trouble? ashamed of? It, it, it's not that everyone does what they think is best. You look for the best in what they do. And I'm trying to look for the best in what Trump is doing, but what he's trying to do is just wrong, period. So he's the only one that I'm ashamed of. When Clinton got in trouble with Lewinsky, every time the news were kind of bringing up the new information, uh, American bombers went and, and bombed something in Europe to take away the, the front pages of the press. And that was yeah, like killing like people. When, exactly what Trump does. He points his finger somewhere else. Whenever he gets in trouble, he'll point somewhere else and blame Hillary Clinton. He'll do blame Obama, he'll blame somebody else to get the attention off of himself. He then did the same bushes. thing. There are huh? bushes too, which are- Yes, they all, do. they all yeah. do that. Yeah. They all do yeah, it. I think democracy is an illusion, but uh, people under democracy uh, become nice idealists, but I don't see much democracy happening in America. Like if you start studying what what happened at a specific time, like uh, the city government, the, the courts, everything is rotten. The court system is completely rotten. I don't know, I don't have to deal with it. Because uh -huh. I've been well, a good is... upstanding citizen. I don't know why it would be rotten. I haven't had to deal with it though. Yeah, it reminds me of Soviet Union in the last years. Everything is shaking and the system is about to fall. It is. And I think uh, the, the pandemic is actually is uh, preventing the America from falling. The economy is sort of uh, is uh, a lot of businesses go out of the business and the economy is shaking, but somehow the system is cleansing itself from a lot of stuff and becomes stronger. It's not humane because it's sort of harms a lot of people, but I think it actually might pr prolong the, the life of the system. Yes, prolongs the life of the system. <sighs> I just take a deep breath because um, this country has been very good to me. It's been, uh, I have lived all my life here and it's been very good to me. And I have not had to deal with the court systems so I don't know if they're corrupt or not. I hear stories, but I don't know, really know anybody that has had trouble with the court systems. But the thing is, yes, I'm sure there's rottenness everywhere that you can look, but I'm looking for the goodness in people. So I'm trying to find that. I'm even trying to find it in Trump, but I don't see much of that right now because he's, he's, just being hateful. So, and the people around him, he's making them hateful as well. And he's tur turning people dark. And I don't like that. Yeah, he brings up a lot of um, Yeah, a lot of hatred, yes. Yes, and I don't, that's not what I want. I don't want, I don't want to hate Trump. I don't hate Trump. I just don't like what he's doing. I don't think that it's a good thing. I don't think that it's a good thing at all. I think in the moment all presidents are like Carter, but he was uh, set up. Is it how they say it, set up? He was, yes. uh, he was set up to fall. Yes, he was. And you have a nice person, he comes to the system which doesn't cooperate with niceness and he was unable to do anything. Yep. There a was lot time of people have been stopped. A lot of people have been stopped by Senate and Congress, right? Because they are opposed to change, or they're opposed to uh, the other party, or whatever it is. It's always been like that. There was a time when Kennedy came, and he actually invited very nice uh, scientists to advise him. 
And that was a time when I think, uh, I think Jim Watson was invited to take part in the advising the government. So there were like, there are actually a lot of times where actually positive things are happening. Yes, there is, absolutely. But our time is up. I can't believe right. we stalked, talked the whole time. <laughs> uh, that's a new, uh, uh, new style, new, new brand, new trend, no new trend. A new trend. Right. Yeah, give me a, a, a blessing for the, for the closing. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, lift us all up into unity and into love and into understanding, into compassion and into the things that are meant to be, Lord, because your way of life is different than ours. Your understanding is different than ours. And if this is what's supposed to happen, let it happen. Your will be done. I just praise you and thank you that you are the King of Kings and Lord of Lords in whatever religion you choose to appear in, Hinduism, uh, Islam, Confucianism, Sikhism, whatever it is, Christianity, you are there and showing your people the light. Help us to understand that we are here all together to unite and to be one peoples, to be of an understanding under God, to be of an understanding for you and not for our own processes, not for our own belief systems, but for what you stand for, the love that is yours, the love that is who you are trying to make yourself an example to us as. Help us be an example of you on this planet. Help us be an example of love understanding, kindness, peace, cooperation, goodness, not hatred and doom and lies and deception. Keep us away from that, Lord, please. Turn us back to the light. Turn us back to what is necessary to serve you the best. We thank you for all these gifts that are around us, we have plenty here. There are many that do not. We ask that you fill their coffers that make them more um, productive, make their, give them more money or whatever they need, food, clothing, warmth. We ask that you be with us all. You are the guide. You are who we follow. And we thank you for that. Thank you for being there for us. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jim. Uh, see you in two weeks. Yes. All right. Uh, good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.